Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going through the entirety of my wig collection. This is my new mermaid mug that's almost as big as my face. The day has finally come. This has been very requested. But I am finally going to go through and show you all of my wigs. I actually don't know how many wigs I have. I tried to start counting when I was organizing them a couple weeks ago and then I lost count and I have no idea. If there might be a hundred wigs, I don't know. This is gonna be, this is gonna be quite the video. And I don't know if I'm gonna put on every single wig. I might, but again, I don't know if this will take me five hours to film this video if I wanna put on every wig on my head. Most of these wigs are from Amazon. Some of them are from other places. I'll tell stories about them and I'll also talk about kind of um, how to choose a wig, where to get the best wigs, all that sort of stuff. So this is just wig central. This is the wig video. I hope you guys who have been asking for this enjoy this. I think I'm going to enjoy this. I'm gonna say right now some of these wigs are gonna look like trash. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna put it out there so that we don't have to be, we don't have to be shocked. I mean, as a cosplayer, it's like, I, I literally wear a wig almost every day of the week. Yeah, almost every day. Because I love being able to fully transform. My Disney bounds, I like to wear wigs. I know that some people will say that's not really a Disney bound, that's blah, 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 whatever. I like it. I like to make the whole aesthetic just with that wig. So let's go ahead and jump in to this massive, massive collection of wigs. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kaz. I am a cosplayer, Disney bounder. I work as a princess and I craft a lot of different things. So if you're interested in anything Disney cosplay or crafty, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any great content from me. Can we just take a moment to just soak this hair up? I like with this ombre purple blue, which just happened when the like brighter purple faded, I feel like I'm a mermaid. The, these are mermaid vibes. And now I'm going full, full mermaid. Okay, I grabbed my giant box, which I'll attempt to hold up so you can see. This also is not all of my wigs, I have to say. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the first box. Um, These were better organized and they're now not very organized. So that'll be fun as well. This is the first round. I also have, and I'll show you, I have a set of drawers that used to have some of my makeup in it that I switched out for a different set of drawers. I have wigs in there as well. And then I also have some wigs on top of my dresser, some of my like nicer princess ones that I don't wanna put in bags. I have my Merida wig up there. I have a wig by my TV. I got a wig in, just randomly in another set. So, there are a lot of wigs in this room and I probably honestly should get rid of some of them, but I also don't want to. Well, maybe after we film this video, I'll realize there are some that I do not need. So let's go ahead and put on this wig cap. Fashion. Okay, we're just gonna dive right in here. This is very overwhelming. Um, and I'm gonna start putting wigs on my head and talking about them. God, how long is this video gonna be? I don't know. So um, I will say that the way that I've stored my wigs right now, these are all like wig bags that I got from Amazon. Before a lot of my wigs were in their bags, I wish I had the space to put every one of my wigs on a wig head. I do not. I need would need like an entire room to just be full of wigs, which yes, that is the part of my dream. We're gonna start off with this guy. I got these bags. Um, like I said, from Amazon, I think it was $30 for 10, if I recall, which isn't bad. Um, and what you're supposed to be able to do is you can stick like a wig hanger up the top. So you can basically like hang the wig in the bag and then you can put it in a closet, which would be great. Um, I think for wig storage, I don't have a closet in my room. Um, I only have my insane racks of clothes. So... For me, it just doesn't really make sense for me to try to hang up the wigs. I also just have so many that it's like, it's not, unfortunately it's not really a feasible option. So 
I just have them in the bags without any sort of hangers or anything. I'm also not going to be securing these wigs to my head because obviously we're going to be putting on a lot of wigs. Okay, so here's our first wig. Honestly, I love this wig. I'm obsessed with this wig. This is one of my favorite wigs I've ever purchased. It's really nice. It's a more expensive wig. It was, I believe, like $55 on Amazon. Um, I don't know if I remember the exact vendor, but I can definitely try to link some of these wigs. I do have on, like, my little Amazon list. You can see some of my wig recommendations. I'll try to add some more wigs on there, too, because, honestly, I've bought so many wigs from Amazon over the years it's insane but this one I bought specifically for a polar bear costume I was being the coca-cola polar bear for Halloween this is a very cute look and I wanted to go with like a cute little Marilyn Monroe moment and I thought that this was perfect so I love this wig um, it definitely I had to brush it out the other day because I used it for my color me prom outfit um, but I really still like it it's kept a really good shape um, it is a lace front in the front, so if we're talking about wigs, there are different levels for sure and different, you know, types of quality. This is definitely a high quality wig. It's lace front. Um, these are not cheap fibers. It is synthetic. I don't buy real human hair wigs just because it's just too expensive for me, but I really do believe you can find a nice looking synthetic wig, and with the synthetic wigs, like, you can definitely find some at a good price. Um, but if you pay more, more likely that's going to be a better wig. But it's just, it's just plain and simple. A lot of the wigs that I buy are basically unstyled, and then I try to style them a little bit myself. I'm not great at wig styling. I have to say that. Like, I'm okay. I definitely have a lot left to learn, and that's something that I'm trying to learn, especially when it comes to styling princess wigs. So this is a pre-styled wig that I did get from Amazon. So anytime that there's a little bit of more to a style, um, more of a style to it, I do think that that's gonna cost you a little bit more money. All right, we have wig number two on. That took me a moment. But this is a wig I bought also from Amazon, Lace Front. I bought it two years ago for my Glinda the Good Witch costume for Halloween. I do really like to buy a nice wig for Halloween because obviously it's the most important holiday of the year. This one I really love. Um, I honestly love this color of blonde on me. This is a hair color that I would probably try out in the future. This kind of like more ashy, um, dark blonde color I think actually looks really good with my skin tone because sometimes the blondes are just way too yellow for me. But yeah, I love this wig. It's beautiful. It definitely has fallen a lot since I first got it. Um, the curls aren't as nice and I definitely think it could use a little washing which you can wash your wigs um, you can do it in the sink there are tons of videos online about washing wigs I think I have a video of me washing my aerial wig um, and trying to make it softer and then styling it a little bit so you can always check that out this was like a while ago though so honestly I don't know how great the styling turned out but I did wash that wig real good okay next wig here this is something I bought just the last year this was an addition to the Halloween costume wigs. So a great tip I have is if you don't want to spend the money on a lace front wig, which a lace front wig, right, has that little bit of lace at the front so you can trim it and then you can actually glue it down and make it look like a pretty natural hairline. Um, and it's usually going to be a higher quality wig. If you don't want to spend the money on those, which could be anywhere from 30 to like $60 and more, right? Usually I think the general amount, especially on Amazon, is about $50 for a really nice lace front wig. What you can do is buy a wig with bangs. So a lot of wigs that are cheaper have bangs in order to kind of hide the hairline because obviously if you have a cheap wig with, you know, a very blunt hairline, it's going to be super obvious that it's a wig. But when you have the bangs, it just makes it look better. It's easier. These are super easy to wear. Um, you don't really have to put as much effort into getting them on. I really wouldn't do too much more with wearing this wig. And it's definitely cheaper. So if you're looking for a cheaper option, you can find a nice synthetic wig that has bangs. And it's definitely going to be anywhere from like, I say you can find, I honestly have found wigs for like my favorite wig ever, which I'll show you. I bought for $10, $10. And it's amazing. It's an amazing wig. Um, so you don't have to buy the cheap crappy wigs, which I'll also talk about <laughs> in a moment. You can find wigs that are still inexpensive, but have things like 
bangs to help kind of hide any sort of um, flaws, right? Like in the type of synthetic material that it's made out of. So I'm realizing just how many wigs are here. I'm gonna just show you a bunch like back to back and then we'll stop and talk about wigs that I think are more interesting. All right, here we go. I wanna pause here to say that you can see this is a cheap wig that is a fake hairline that is not um, lace front. So this is one that I bought specifically for my Will Ferrell costume and <laughs> just funny I bought this to look like Will Ferrell but um I was on a budget so I bought something that was cheaper and also like the shape of it just looked more correct even though I knew that like the hairline might be a problem so it depends on what you're doing again you know it's like sometimes you don't want to spend more money but you need a specific look I think it's okay especially if you're not trying to go out and make this seem like a day-to-day -day wig, you know? Like, there are definitely some wigs that are much more believable, and then there are other wigs who are clearly not as believable. This is one of the first fancy wigs I actually ever bought. I bought it at this costume and just amazing store. I, I, don't, I think you would call it a costume store, but they had like stage makeup and party supplies called Didums, and it unfortunately is closed, I believe now, but back in Mountain View, back up north where I'm from, this was a styled wig that I bought. I believe it was $60. Um, I really wanted it for a very long time. I've had this wig for years. It definitely has had, you know, its fair share of wear and tear. Um, I recently washed it, and I think that it does look a little bit better, but it probably needs some help in the styling department. It looks better than it did. There's a lot you can do with a hairbrush. If you get a nice wig brush, you can brush through some of these problems. Um, but definitely with curly wigs, it is a little bit more complicated, obviously, because you don't want to ruin any of the curls that are already placed in the wig. So this is the aerial wig that I had originally bought online on eBay and I used it as a Jessica Rabbit wig actually I think about six not six years ago probably four years ago now um, but this one it smells so fresh because when I restyled it um, a good method for trying to get out tangles and just some kind of a more roughness of a wig is to actually put it in fabric softener and like leave it overnight so it smells deliciously like fabric softener actually um and then it has this nice swoopy bang and then the curls which i kind of had to recurl but a lot of the waves didn't turn out exactly the way i wanted um in the end but i do still like this wig it's really fun i think it's great for like a bright kind of aerial moment when you're buying wigs on ebay you do have to be careful with some of these wigs from China um, because a lot of them do not actually look like the picture that they are referencing like there's similar shots that you'll see that are going to be used for a bunch of different wigs and they're all actually different wigs it's the same thing when you like buy a dress on one of those websites and you're like okay that's Anne Hathaway's dress from the Oscars I should know that it wouldn't cost me $20 to buy that dress so just something to be aware of when buying wigs from places like eBay. So I have to talk about this wig. It's one of my absolute favorites. I bought it basically because I didn't have a green wig and I was like, I should probably get a green wig so I have an entire rainbow of wigs this is what, like the beginning of quarantine when I was doing all of those TikTok videos all the different characters all the bright colors and stuff so I definitely wanted a green wig this ended up looking so good I think it's actually like modeled off of a wig that Kylie Jenner wore or something but it's from Amazon um, 
I don't remember exactly how much it was, but I believe it was around like the $30 range. But this wig is beautiful. I love it. I love this color. I honestly would totally dye my hair this color at some point because I feel like the deep jewel tone really suits my skin. But yeah, just buy a green wig. Just do it. It may look this good. I'm starting to realize just how many red wigs I have. Okay, I have to talk about this wig. This is one that I actually hand dyed and hand curled. It's probably, I mean, it definitely has been in a box for a year, but I made this originally for my rainbow unicorn look for Dapper Day, which I'll show you a picture. It was really cute. Obviously, I could not actually go to Dapper Day because pandemic, but um, the wig has survived, which is so funny because I feel like my hair kind of looks like this now, and this was like my fantasy dream type of hair that I could never have. But yet now, I have pastel ombre hair. Okay, so the camera battery actually died while I was wearing that last ombre rainbow wig. But now I have on the next wig. And we only have a few more left in this box. And then we're going into all the wigs that are in the drawers. And these wigs are all more colorful wigs. So I like to try and, you know, put them by color. We did a lot of neutrals up until this point. We're going to get into some more of the fun colors. And these are also shorter wigs too. So the ones that are a little bit shorter, not in the bigger bag, so they can fit inside the drawers. And then we will get to the wigs on the wig headstands. But first, let's flash through a bunch more wigs. Pause, this is the first of my fairy tale wigs. So this is a wig company that they basically like cut and kind of style the wigs for you to then style. They also sell fully styled wigs. Those are like $500 and I got, got $500 to spend on a wig. So um, I like to buy the cheaper version of that, which is around $90. So this is their aerial one that I bought. Um, I still need to style it, of course. I have yet to get around to it, but it's really beautiful. Um, and they'll do things like put, you know, the curls in it so that when you do brush it out and style it, it makes sense. So this is how it looks right now. Obviously it doesn't have her big swoop. You have to style the swoop in. Um, but it's all kind of like parted and divided for you to be able to do that. So <laughs> hopefully soon, hopefully soon I'll be able to style some more wigs because that is something I really want to get better at and that is something I need to do with a couple of these like really nice wigs that I have that I bought with the intention of being able to style them. This is one of my favorite wigs of all time. This adorable dusty rose color. This honestly was just fueled my need to dye my hair pink. I'm so glad I got to live that fantasy for a while. But I love, I love this wig. I actually wore it for my graduation um, with my all hot pink graduation outfit that I made. And um, yeah, this is, this is a good wig. This is lace front at the top. This was another Amazon purchase. Honestly, one of my favorite wigs of all time. opportunity to talk about really cheapy wigs that you should not buy. This Harley Quinn look, um, I actually bought this at Goodwill though. It was on, it was like a couple dollars. So I was like, what's the damage? Um, this is so bad y'all. So when you buy wigs that like aren't even trying <laughs> to do a decent job, like, you know, the Party City wig, not to say I have a couple, I have a couple. They were bought, though, in moments of desperation, you know, when there was no other option, and I had to have blue hair. That's how my short blue wig, you'll see, it was purchased. But just don't do it, because it's not worth it. And online, you can find a better wig. 110%, 9 times out of 10, you will find a better wig for the same price or even a cheaper price. Just don't, don't do it. It itches. It feels so gross. Ah, get it on me. Ah. So 
this is actually my clowning wig that I bought at a wig shop on like super discount on Hollywood Boulevard and it's such complete trash. I originally bought it thinking that I could save it but then it just turned into a hilarious headpiece for my clowning character. Okay, so this wig I bought and then cut into a bowl cut shape to dress as the kazoo kid for a New Year's party my boyfriend was throwing and it was meme themed. But the problem was none of his friends dressed up except for me and him and everybody thought that this was my actual hair. This blonde bowl cut. God. Okay, this is the last wig of the short and colorful wigs in the drawers. Are you tired yet? Because I'm tired. It's actually, it has been hours. It has been hours that I've been here. But we are on to the last section. Ah! Oh my gosh, there's only eight wigs left. This is very exciting. So let's dive in to my styrofoam head wigs. This is a swimming aerial wig that I bought for my work. And it's a swimming aerial because people used to be mermaids. We would be mermaids and swim at birthday parties and a lot of times that was also aerial. So this one didn't have any curls in it because it was gonna get wet in the water. So it's very sticky still. It's not perfect but the color is really good. I love the color of it so I'm hoping to have it restyled so that it can, you know, live again. <laughs> This is another fairy tale wigs wig. This is actually Cinderella and it's all curled so that you can like put it up and little curls on top, but I still don't have my Cinderella dress. So I've just been wearing it like this and honestly I love this wig. It's beautiful. I love the bangs. This is another hair color that I actually really do like on me too. <laughs> this is my Merida wig. It's honestly one of my favorite wigs as well. I just love how full and voluminous it is. It's so much fun. I love the red color. It just, this was an Amazon buy. Um, I searched Merida wig and disappeared and I love it. I think it's really fun and wild. I think a lot of Merida wigs you see are like kind of more well kept, but I think their hair really is crazy and this really captures it super well. And somehow we have finally gotten to my last wig. Here it is, literally $10. Rainbow Ombre wig, and it's one of my favorites of all time. I love it so much. It is one that, God, it means so much to me, and I've just worn it for a bunch of different photo shoots, um, photos I took with my best friend Fern, who I miss desperately. Like, this wig is just, it just brings me such happiness. Like, I would love to have rainbow hair like this, but that's what I mean when I say that you can find great wigs for a good, decent price that aren't, like, completely trashy looking. Wow, I, I did not keep track, I'm letting like, you know right now, of how many wigs I own. I don't know. I don't know. I could not count. I was just focusing on going from point A to point B. I could not get anywhere in between, but wow, that was a lot of wigs. And I definitely have a lot of repeats. Like, I really do need to get rid of some. You don't need three black wigs with the same blunt bangs. You just don't. You simply don't. But editing Kaz has been keeping track of the number of wigs, and our grand total is... Wow, what an insane number of wigs. I hope it's not, like, some disappointing number. I don't think it is, because I don't, we've been here for a while. You know, we've been here for a while. I listened to a two-hour podcast while I was putting wigs on my head, so that tells you something. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I gave enough kind of context for some of these wigs. I mean, I couldn't talk about every single wig. We would literally be here for 12 hours. That's how long I think it would take. But hopefully you got a kind of a good idea of my collection. I definitely got a good idea of my collection. I really did not know that it was this massive, but here we are. 
But that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know that I did. As always, you can follow me on Instagram at Kaz the Queen of Glitter. You can follow me on Snapchat at Kaz Queen of Glitter. You can follow me on TikTok at The Queen of Glitter. And you can subscribe right here on YouTube to The Queen of Glitter. But that is all for me today. I'll see you guys in my next one. Until then, stay sparkly. Bye-bye. God, I need to sleep. Thank you.